Tim, he asked me a question. Appreciate it, Tim. <laughs> A lot of times, you know, it comes to like details, especially like, you know, it's not just like the last possession, but like even before in that games, in those games, um, knowing where to be, control the game at the very end. And, you know, I think obviously we address it, we can do a better job there and we just didn't, you know, come through. Um, but it shows that we have the talent. We just, you know, got to finish the close games too. Yeah, I mean, it was obviously very frustrating. You know, last summer I took a lot of time to especially prepare for the season, stay healthy. And obviously it was not something that I planned for, um, but it's part of the game. Um, you can't control everything. I just did my best job in trying to rehab, come back as soon as possible. Um, obviously with deficits and conditioning and, and um, all the other parts that you need f to play an NBA game. But, um, you know, you get that by playing. Um, it was frustrating, you know, personally this season um, being injured and then coming back from an injury because if you miss uh, within the season, I don't know what it was, how many games exactly, but um, 10 weeks, 10, 11 weeks, it's just, it's it's tough to like um, come back and, and balance it and, and play the right way then. What improvements did you see out of Jaden Hardy from the first game to the day game? Um, I mean... He's an amazing talent, and uh, you know he's shown it from the first day. In my opinion, um, that he has those sparks. But you know, just the consistency in which he can attack the paint and uh, you know find a way to finish, um, you know, will help a lot. And uh, he's going to have a great summer and come back even stronger next next uh, next year. What's the next step for him? Um, I think like the biggest part will be just like decision making because you know he has all the skill sets uh, on the offensive end so I think the most important things are um, to find a balance between when to go for himself and when to find a teammate and stuff like that but um, you know he's, he's proven that at any time you can give him the ball and he will find a way to score for us. Actually what happened to the defense this year was that you call it for you all last year in the playoffs what, what happened? Good question. Um, you know like Last year, at some point, we also had like our ups and downs, but at some point, it made kind of like click, and it was kind of like an automatic thing where people knew where to go, where to be. Um, we didn't have that. We also had a break with the trade um, where we had new players coming in, which changed a little bit everything, it, um, new roles, new identities, and we had to figure out who has to go where. And I think we just didn't have, uh, we didn't reach the same level as last year when it comes to um, connecting the dots on that. And, you know, it's something that takes time. Uh, it's not easy, uh, especially when you have new guys. Maxi, you mentioned how frustrating it is or was coming back from injury. How did your mindset kind of grow or evolve during that process? Because I imagine every day wasn't a good thing. Yeah, at the very beginning, it went actually really well and was, like, excited because I was like, wow, I'm going to come back soon and it's going to be fine but then obviously there's some days and we have little setbacks um, but you know like the most important part was that my coaches and my teammates were very supportive um, and you know they, they found the right words and you know when some days when it wasn't going well they supported me still um, so I think that's something I could rely on as a player um, so I was never really self-concerned by myself it was more you know having the right energy from my teammates and my and my coaches um, to get through that phase. Um, but obviously it's like, you know, like a normal season, same as with an injury, you're going to have your ups and downs regardless. Yeah. Maxie, uh, <clears throat> Jason said yesterday, uh, before the game, that uh, you know, there's probably going to be changes. It's just inevitable. Last year you guys had that run to the conference finals and a lot of it, you guys were credit that to continuity. You guys have been together. This year you guys take a step back in record I wonder if you even worry that you guys are going to lose some of that continuity that helped get you guys to the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a business, so there will be business decisions made. Um, that's kind of like out of control of a player, but obviously you just focus on what you can do. You know, I think for me personally, I'm going to um, take some days, reflect, and then I'm going to have meetings here with the coaching staff, with the strength coach and everything, what I want to um, do this summer, what to focus on, all this stuff. But obviously continuity helps. Um, but um, after a season where you have a disappointing ending, obviously there's going to be change. So it's just part of the game. So I have a question that's kind of not related to the game. 
but I'll be covering the Jets this season. Mm -hmm. We're having a lot of conversations about beers and manicures. <laughs> Do you have like a pre-game ritual or special side of these? I don't use anything for my beard. I just have my barber line it up every once in a while and then just some gel in my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much.